All right, project for today, we're down at the campground. We were at a couple years ago. They're gonna be grading up this little uh, mess they made. They put a couple more campsites in. Not too many, just looks like three. Uh, so we got a little small area here, maybe 2,000 or 20,000 square feet or so. It goes down the hill. So T76 today. The rock hound and the soil conditioner and the potato head. And uh, we're gonna get this done. Maybe even hydro seeded if we're locking, we'll see. But let's get after it. Alright, so the site's pretty rough, but they probably had a bulldozer in here. So first thing I do is uh, take this fancy bucket here. It's not really all that fancy, but and just kind of start roughing stuff in, pushing soil wherever I need it. I don't know what they had in here. Maybe it was an excavator. I really don't know. I really don't care. Uh, either way, start knocking down some of these big piles and breaking stuff up. Dirt looks like it's kind of dry. So I think it'll be nice, not dusty today, hopefully. But look at this area, the area behind me, and just start roughing stuff in. It's kind of chunky. With a beautiful view of Lake Ontario, and actually, if, I don't know if you can you probably won't see it on camera, but uh, you can see like on, uh, on Lake, you can see Toronto pretty good. So, nice, beautiful, sunny day, no clouds. It's gonna be a good day. About 50 minutes, five zero minutes worth of work here. Got it kind of knocked down, got some material moved. That second, uh, just past the wheelbarrow there was real low. I brought in about two buckets of fill that I was able to scrape up from down the hill. And uh, soil conditioner's on. Gonna try to make some fluff to fill in around all these pipes. Get this thing all leveled off. Potato. All right, got the uh, soil conditioner on. That's a uh, test run, first time of the year here. There she goes, ripping real good. Got the angle, very, very nice. And the depth is working. Time to get this rust off the attachment. I, uh, I always try to turn it down a little bit on the throttle. Just runs a little smoother, less vibration. Chews up the soil without throwing it 100 feet. Now drop this sucker down. Give us a little depth. See how it's really, it's still throwing. Turns down a little bit more. That's perfect, just what I want. Nice and slow travel. Chewing it up. Got a good blade in front of me where the material being pushed, filling holes and divots and everything. Pulling the rocks up and out. Any roots. Separates those pretty good.
my favorite attachment. Besides the rock count, that thing's pretty nice, but the two of them together, beautiful. Really can do a nice job. Lock now. We got her all smoothed out. We got her uh, soil conditioned. Got my rock hound on now. It's, you know, the best of the best attachments here. We got the potato. He's raking away. We're getting our. I think we'll be done by one o'clock. Then uh, maybe some hydro seeding. We'll see. But it's coming along nicely. Let's get this rock hound on and let's get some work done.
right, so that's that. It's uh, lunchtime now. Packing up. Loaded up. Waiting on the potato head to finish seeding. And, uh, we're supposed to get the hydro seeder prepped this afternoon and maybe we'll throw some hydro seed. Get this all 100% wrapped up. But she's looking good now. Like it was never even there. A couple more camping spots. I have no idea what that extra pad out there is for. I, I don't know. It's kind of awkward, but whatever. Our job's almost done. All right, that'll wrap up today. I didn't really film any hydro seeding, but I got a little busy here. First round of hydro seeding for the year done. April uh, 29th today. Should start coming in nicely with this kind of school weather. <laughs>